Okay, so uh, I, I thought I'd I thought I'd start with this since we we just finished doing this kind of um, tonal transformation, you know, to to ping the highlights and lighten the skin. Um, here's an image, and sometimes when we're kind of working on enhancing images, we're not we don't want to retouch out the guy's wrinkles, right? We want to actually enhance it. And that last trick that I did with the, the high pass, you know, the grayscale high pass layer works really great uh, for this as well. And what I'm going to do actually, again, looking at the individual channels, red channel, green channel, blue channel, in this case, I'm going to look for the channel that has the most contrast in, in the wrinkles in the face. And I, I think that's going to be the, the blue channel. And we're going to put that blue channel into a layer above the image. And for that, I'm going to use uh, another command that's actually been in Photoshop since the very first version of Photoshop but nobody ever uses it. So image, apply image. And this allows me to take any picture as long as it's open, and in this case I'm using the same image file, um, and I'm going to be applying it to this empty layer. So I want to take the blue channel and apply it to that layer. And it doesn't matter the blending option. If I had something in that layer, I could, this blending uh, option would would mean something. But since it's an empty layer, it doesn't really matter what I have picked here. Um, so I'm just taking the blue channel and putting it in the layer above the, the image. And now I'm going to do that high pass trick again. So I'm going to use the filter other high pass. And I'm looking again for uh, a radius that's going to give me kind of the most kind of three-dimensional effect. So I'm looking sort of for a kind of a bas-relief effect. So I'm keep inching this up here. This is a much higher res file, so you can see I'm not at 50 pixels. And that's, I think, giving me the amount of extra emphasis that I want here. and changing the apply mode from normal to overlay. So this, this has this kind of sharpening effect, <coughs> right? And it's, uh, the reason I like to use these, these high-pass overlay layers is that the, the sharpening, it kind of ramps off in a soft halo. So here, this I'm kind of emphasizing this edge. The, the, the darker side of that edge is getting a little bit kind of a shadowy darken area, and the lighter side of the edge is getting kind of a little extra highlight. But it blends out really soft. Um, if I was to do this with... Uh, Unsharp mask, and I'm just going to de desaturate this just so we can look at how how this differs from unsharp mask. I can run the unsharp mask filter here, um, <coughs> and as I increase the radius, you can kind of see this is about the same, or, or it's not quite the same radius, but you see how abrupt that halo is. It's like dark, and then it just drops off. In the, the, uh, the high-pass overlay, see how soft it is? So this, if we use this in, a, in, a, in a overlay mode, the effect is more subtle, and you can't see it so much as, as sharpening. <coughs> 
so um, it, the effect is it sharpens the image, but it's, it's less obvious that, that what you've done is applied some artificial sharpening. Mm -hmm. no. See? Mm -hmm. And again, we could do the same thing if we wanted to, to not darken the space. I think in this case, we want maximum contrast. We really want those wrinkles to come out. So, so this is a useful approach for that. Lee, for an image like this, would you sometimes work with eyes as well? Oh yeah, I would. I'd probably maybe work on the highlights in the eyes, or. Uh, but you know, here I'm trying to emphasize texture, and most of the time we're trying to soften the skin texture. So, um, we could get. A kind of a softening effect if I invert this overlay layer. So here's here's the okay. So this is the the normal overlay layer. If I make it, if I invert it, okay. So now all the dark wrinkles are lighter, and all the light things are darker. And you watch what happens when I turn this into overlay. <laughs> Right? So, and it, you know, we can kind of, if I reduce the, it's it's a little strange. I mean, you know, I, I wouldn't, I would never use this at full strength, but, you know, so this is the exact sort of opposite. I'm toning back the contrast. And this is kind of like in Lightroom, if you use the negative clarity. This is basically what it starts to look like. Um, not particularly successful for this image because I'd rather enhance the wrinkles than, than to take them away. But you, you may encounter a situation where you need to do that. Uh,